journalists in this country are spied upon. Some are put in jail for months. Why? Refusing to give up their sources. Now, why should you care about this? The Press Act. It's a bipartisan bill passed in the House designed to protect journalists because it is dicey ground whether the First Amendment extends to giving me the right to say, no, I will not tell you, government, who told me this, this, or this. It's true. It's soft. Executive Director of the Freedom of the Press Foundation, Trevor Tim. It's good to have you, Trev. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So people will say, no, no, no. Uh, Cuomo's a bad lawyer. It's in the First Amendment, freedom of the press. You don't have to give up your sources. What's the reality? Well, the reality is it's a lot more complicated. Unfortunately, some courts and the Supreme Court has even said that in a lot of cases, the First Amendment might not protect journalists from giving up their sources. And we see this all the time. Prosecutors, defense lawyers in civil lawsuits, trying to bring journalists to the stand. And journalists, of course, like they make their bread and butter by making confidences with their sources. They couldn't do their job. Uh, the public couldn't get the information they need without these confidential sources. And so they're put in this terrible position. It's either go to jail, uh, be spied on by the government in secret, or essentially give up uh, their their sources and, and give up their, their job. So I tell the audience all the time, you know, don't be so quick to get on this train about, oh, anonymous sources, either have a name or no. There's a lot we wouldn't know if uh, we didn't have trusted anonymous sources that wind up telling the truth. Um, now, the idea of why people should care about this, it passed in the House. What's the chance that it passes in the Senate? Well, it's actually better than you might think. You know, I think a lot of people think Congress is broken now, and I'm certainly not going to argue with that. But this bill is kind of the rare bipartisan trifecta. Like, so this uh, covers journalists across the political spectrum. It doesn't matter if you work at the New York Times or Fox News or anywhere in between or independent journalists. It, pa it passed in the House unanimously. Um, so all, by voice vote, all Democrats, all Republicans um, has the support of many powerful uh, Republicans who support Donald Trump, including Jim Jordan in the House. And now in the Senate, it is also sponsored by multiple uh, Democrats and Republicans, including Lindsey Graham, uh, Mike Lee on the Judiciary Committee, uh, and Dick Durbin, who lead the Judiciary Committee. So this actually has a chance of passing, but it really just needs to get over the hump. So two things. One will be, how do you know they get spied on? What are you talking about? Is it hype? And two, the pushback of, nah, you should have to give your sources because we think you guys lie in the media. Well, first of all, in the last 10 years, there's been a record number of sources prosecuted, and this has happened under both Democrat and Republican administrations. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Trump spied on journalists at CNN when you were there uh, at, in The New York Times and The Washington Post. He got their Internet records, email records and phone records, uh, really chilling to any journalist who, who wants to, to hold uh power to account. But this also happened during the Obama administration. The Obama administration prosecuted mm -hmm. more sources than any other president before him. Eric Holder loved after, chasing after the media. Yeah. I mean, it was going after Associated Repress, Press reporters, but also spying on a Fox News reporter. And so, you know, this should matter to whether you support Joe Biden, whether you support Donald Trump or any other presidential candidate. It's a serious problem for journalism when they don't know uh, you know, what what source or, or who to talk to, um, how to talk to them. And, you know, the source is scared to talk to them, too, because they don't know if they're going to be under investigation next. Well, it matters. We'll keep talking about it. You have an open op invitation to the platform here, uh, Trevor Tim. And I love what you're doing uh, with the organization, the Freedom of the Press Foundation. You are the executive director. You're welcome here whenever you want. Well, thanks for covering this issue. And honestly, I hope everyone follows your lead because you're the first person to cover this uh, on cable news. And so hopefully many more to come. News Nation, baby. It should always be the first stop. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.